Do 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 podcast podcast and we're podcasting. Do you, that's four is that's is that forty five ounces? How many ounces of water is that? Yeah, it's forty five ounces. Well, what do you do? I drink. Water. How many ounces is that? I don't fucking know. It's a lot. It's like if you drink lot. three of those a day, you die because it flushes your electrolytes. <laughs> You don't you even know how to put your cans on. You wouldn't die. You don't even know how to put your cans on. I thought you were. I thought you weren't a big fan of cans. We I'm not. Need, I'm going to take my cans off halfway. We don't need these cans, man. I don't need these cans. I don't want to be held back by these cans. We don't need these cans. I don't what live. Are we, what are we actually doing right now? This I want to talk about. So today on global warming, the Earth is flat. How do we know that the Earth is flat? It's very obvious. For instance, I can break it down to you. When you put a marble on the ground, yeah. does it roll down the other side of the earth? No. no. It just stays there. That means the earth's flat. It's a flat plane. See? Gravity is fake. We live in a dome. God is the government. Lizard people, eat it. Eat it. If you were to eat spirit soup, would you use a straw? Nice. No, you you, you, you got to help me build my riff. I built the you, riff. You went right into spirit soup. But Maria, spirit soup is I, a part of the same thing. No one knows what the fuck spirit soup is. You got to help me build my riff. I, I built go, a riff. You start flat earth riff. I build on your flat earth riff. And you go into fucking Marina Abogabovich. No, I didn't. And it. fucking spirit soup. Marina knows Abogabovich. What the fuck, nobody knows what spirit soup is. We have to Everybody get, knows what spirit soup is. George, what is, what is spirit soup? Spirit soup. No. No one knows what the fuck it is. The they, you Listen. Um, help me help you help me to help you the flat we build the rift the last time i dug it. a hole we build it. the last time i dug a hole was he's eight back. feet he's back the last time i dug a, uh, i dug an eight foot hole one time and i literally ended up in there was like a black void yeah and so i just turned back around because i knew that the fucking the earth was ended and then i was just like oh i'm i don't want to be on the bottom part of the earth i want to be on the top part of the earth you want to be on the top and 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 through that you want to be where the cheeseburgers are well, the che- there's no cheeseburgers in the void. So if you dig down eight feet, guess what? No cheeseburgers. Yeah. There's no soup. There's no fucking hummus. There's no lettuce. There's certainly not rotisserie chicken. No. But if we were to drive straight to Australia, how long would that take? It depends what kind of car. Exactly. Right. Are we talking electric? No. I'm talking a mine mobile. Do you think we could take a elect? Do you think an electric would get to Australia faster than a gas or diesel? Yeah, for sure. Electric cars are infinitely faster than gas. It's been proven. It's called the spectral analysis theory. What happens in an electric car? The way it drives, it through, pulls. The way it drives through air. Yeah. It creates a wedge shape. It basically a dimensional pattern shift in in the layer of the atmosphere, and it moves 14 seconds faster than a gas car. This right. Science. So so with, with that car, do you think how it breaks the wind? Yeah. And the certain way that it breaks the wind. Yeah. And, it, and if we go straight and if we go over like causeways that are built over the water, how causeways. fast, how fast do you think we could get to Australia? Do you think that's a three day, a it's four a seven, day, 7.6 day drive if you drive straight? Right. Yeah. And when we got, if we on a land bridge on the Pangea. Yeah. So yeah. like with the land bridge, like when Pan Asia separated from mm-hmm. Eurasia, mm-hmm. what was like, how, what's the distance between that water and from 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 Pan Asia and Europe Europe Asia, seven point twelve nanometers, roughly. And then and then, do you think when we're crossing, like if we were to drive from here, like when we got to like when we cross get to the Catalina, yeah. and then like how far from like Catalina to to the next? What, what's the next like land mass? From it, straight out New from, Zealand. New Zealand. If you go to Catalina, you keep you, New Zealand. You can almost see New shot, Zealand straight shot. So just go straight like west south west. <laughs> We're failing as a podcast. This is over. Let's just pack it up. You guys, can you return this equipment? It's, it's a we wrap. just bought $20,000 in equipment. Lumexes, 4K, <laughs> GX5. I've never seen new we have hummus? This equipment this new in my life. No, we just bought this table. Look at no, you I'm bought buzzing out. Am I too hot? It's too hot. Look at Am I mics. too hot? It sounds, fine. it sounds fine over there. I buzz out sometimes. Look at the these, cans. these mics are amazing. Welcome to the powerful truth angels We're where we are. Di- your mind. Dissecting the prophecies of the we're world. Doing a, we're doing a dry run. It's not going well. Yeah. Yeah. We're all we're doing today is pa- we're podcasting. This is uh, the pilot of our podcast. And this is the first ever released. We're, we're sponsored. Uh, we have rotisserie chicken on the menu. 
Omar is here. Omar is our guest tonight, and and we're gonna be just pretty much talking only about uh like ghosts. Yeah, the uh, the the. How that? was your weekend? My, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, what did you do last night, Alex? Two tone. So two tone. Where are you from? Uh, do we talk about how we weren't going to talk about that? What are, what were we going to talk about? We were going to exp- we were like let's not make the first we should interview each other. Oh yeah, we don't want to do that. No. But if we were to, where are you from? What are we going to talk about the first we did zero prep, zero. The actual, the actual first show. The very first show. This is a very simple show. This show is about telling the truth about yourself. And and, and it's mostly about like searching for hope. Mm. Okay. Do you need iced coffee? <laughs> Just, Do you need iced coffee? We, I mean, we're not. We're not really. Trying we're to, under. We're, not we're really protecting. Doing, we're just talking here. We're just. Are we? We're not trying to do a show. Yeah, this is the show. This is the pilot. We're going to sh- send this off, and we're going to make a lot of money. This, this is, is what we send. Google. We get don't, George, Manscaped. Don't, don't we get Cash App. We get. Uh, don't show this to anybody. At Paragon. We get Tone Tone Needles. These guys are all from Paragon. This is. This Where did you get those? No- Where did you get that notebook? That notebook says notebook on it. But what, the, Where'd the, you get it from? Because I got a bunch of those from Japan. Uh, Tokyo Pen Shop. Right? Oh, Tokyo. okay. Tokyo Pen Shop. I don't have a notebook. Yeah, I bought a bunch in Japan when I was there. You want to talk yeah, about Japan? Oh my god, they're your favorite notebooks? They're great. I thought they were cool because they could because I got them there, but they're here. So you were just in Chicago. I was in Chicago. Yeah, I was in Chicago on a job, um, and I really can't go into how the job went mm. because you know. Uh, I probably shouldn't even talk about the client. What? Who was it? Does it rhyme with Ike? <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Does it rhyme? Does, uh, do they have a symbol? And it sounds I will, like smoosh. I will say that someone died this weekend, oh. and as a result, my job died. Right. Part of my job died. So uh, there's a ripple effect. Ripple effect. The butterfly effect is real. Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher is a great movie. It is a great movie. Once again, you say things that make complete sense all the time. Ashton. <laughs> But this Amy Smart's in that movie too. Ashton Kutcher is a great movie. Isn't that the butterfly effect? Yeah. Uh, yes. So you were in Chicago. I was in Chicago, and I will tell you about Chicago. It's fucking. What is the term? It's cold as a witch's tit. It's that cold. Cold as a witch's tit. Yeah, it's brick. Brick. Like I had to wear leggings. I had like. Some what do you mean leggings? Compression. I had the Ruka compression pants. Oh. That did I work out in? I had to wear those for like comfort. For and you wear those underneath your pantaloons. Wear them under my pants pants and uh, my pantaloons and then the thing is it's uncomfortable wearing fucking it's like i'm wearing a really long diaper all day you know what i mean i don't know i never wear uh long johns yeah because you got insulation yeah i don't wear long johns i'm from canada we don't wear long johns yeah uh we just wear pants yeah you just oh. wear pants so why was it cold there uh it's just the way weather works you know? i thought there was climate change not in chicago chicago's exempt <laughs> They're not fucking, they're lake not effect. Climate change. Yeah. Lake effect is so great. What is the lake effect? Lake effect is just because there's a lake there. It's one of the Great Lakes. I live on a great. I live on Lake Erie. They're on Lake uh, Michigan, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Lake Michigan, Chicago. They're on Lake Michigan, wow, and, and so really, Goderidge uh, is on the Canadian side. Got to say, the set dressing here is really amazing. Great Andrea, work. shout out to she, our PD. We were supposed to shoot this tomorrow, but we felt so nice about it. Is the sun there's is a shining? Fucking, there's a table full of chicken. <laughs> Wait, this, this, these are cookies. Up. These are cookies. Yeah, I know what cookies. And are. I got juice. We got so our sponsorships today is Punch Bowl. We got Kismet cookies. We just went to their known rotisserie. And had some really great chicken. And this podcast is mostly about food, flat Earth, climate change isn't real. Um, Omar. We- Let's talk about what we're going to talk about. Okay. Because right now. We have to get serious. Yeah. So this podcast is we're gonna, we're a true crime. About, <laughs> that's a true crime podcast. This co- podcast this is podcast called The Root of about, Evil. It's, it's about, about the Black Dahlia murder. It's about doctors that fuck their daughters. I want to. It's about ghosts. It's, it's about ghosts. It's about killing people. Killing people. And you know what's a crazy story? That podcast is crazy. So basically what we're doing is we're on a first podcast talking about another podcast but it's a great podcast isn't it that podcast is a really good example if you guys want to listen to a great podcast and you're really bored of this one right yeah. off top you guys can evil. go and uh listen to that podcast and it's eh, if you guys are into incest period 
Oh yeah, all your full all paws. Those, all if you guys are just into incest, yeah. Um, just check it out. There's a lot of incest on that podcast. It's nice for anyone that's just like, you know, either wants to get triggered, um, you know, anyone that's traumatized, check it out. Um, or and if, if you want to learn about it, check it out. If you want to get fingered. If you want to, you know, if you're into like generational tr- incest, it's really nice. It's, it's just a good Sunday one. The sun's coming down and just learning about incest is important. Nothing like a s- sweet little slice of incest to keep the family together, you know? Yeah, it's like a nice sandwich. Oh, real cool, Andrea. Andrea's taking what are you stories. Doing? Fucking, it's a what are you doing? You're live. Our set director. Are you going live? This is a million dollar fucking podcast. She doesn't care. She doesn't care at all. She didn't Fuck. even set the set. What's it? The, there's how's our level, rappers. George? How are we doing? How we, how's our show? It's fine. How's our show? Is it amazing? So last night I I was like um, we we're talking. What'd you say? Uh, we're tanking already. It's Why you, you can't talk about tanking? Everything's perfect. See, in in the cooking world, you know my my powerful TV show Just a Dash is like I t- kind of demystify. Uh, the concepts of like perfect television. And I think like this podcast is a perfect example of like, we're the powerful truth angels. We were like, we ne- need to get together. We need to talk about stuff, but in a, just a really nice way. We're the podcast for friends without friends. And and we're here for you guys. If you guys are lonely out there and you want to listen in on just me and Alex, you know, we call him two-tone out here. He, he's an ex-graffiti writer, born and raised in Venice, Ontario, or Venice, um, um, Venice Ontario, California. Yeah. Uh, you know, he grew up, he, Chinos and Cortez, and, and, and Duke jerseys and <laughs> no, that's not the me. um yeah, that's the, and you I got just, the wrong guy. Okay. And 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 so this this, this podcast, I just want it to be like really friendly, really nice. If you got no buddies, we're gonna be your buddies. Yeah, we'll be your best friends. And 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 Omar's always gonna be here until Omar dies, and then we'll get another dog because that's what dog owners do. Yeah. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about fucking and back when you used to have a diamond cutting hard, rock hard, rigid thumping boner you want that boner back well blue tube brings you the first chewable the same fda approved active ingredients as viagra and cialis blue tube prescribed online by licensed physicians so you don't have to go to the doctor's office or wait in line at the pharmacy and it ships right to your door in a discreet package right now we've got a special deal for our listeners listen up visit bluechew.com and get your first shipment free when you use our special promo code pta just pay five dollars shipping. Again, that is B L U E C H E U C-H-E-U dot com. Promo code PTA to try it for free. Chew it up, blue. Blue chew. Blue Get chew. your boner humming. Hum on me, hum on you. Nothing Take like a, a little pill and have a good time. Thank you. Okay. And I don't understand animals because I, I don't come from, I come from a family where we, we didn't have animals. So can let's, let, for on the first episode, let's just kind of talk about Omar and really just kind of dive in on your relationship with your, your, with, with your pet. Okay. So first off, I just want to say that Omar is definitely on our last leg. Yeah. Omar has been great. Wonderful fucking dog. Best dog ever. I love Omar. Omar's celebrated. People love Omar. She's just a wonderful <sighs> creature. Great hashtag. But I will say that Omar's probably on the way out. Mm. And you know what? It's true. I mean, I'm I'm a realist. Like, look, she's just. It takes like a half hour to take her for a walk. Yeah. She's she's going blind. She's going deaf. I got to put this gel in her eye twice a day for the rest of her fucking life, however long that is. And you know, when she does go away, when she does die, um, are you gonna stuff her? I I'm either gonna have her stuffed and mounted on the mantle, mm. or have her cremated, and then I'm just gonna like keep. I'm not gonna. Are you gonna have her urn? We should have an urn. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. No? I'll see how I feel. But like, I don't. I'm not gonna run right out and get another dog. People do that. My sister's dog died, and she got a dog like the next day. I don't feel like I need to. Dog, I find dog people need that because like the dog fills the emptiness that a lot of people have, where I'm like filled with joy and love. Right. But like a lot of people, dogs, they uh, I don't know. I think my hole's been filled, so now I don't need her. Right. She fills the hole. She, she's my favorite dog. She's the best dog. I'm well, not a dog person. Omar is my favorite dog. She's everybody's favorite dog. She's the it best. is. Yeah. She's. A I've good never dog. met a dog that that is so um, trustworthy. And and you so, trust you trust her with your pin number. I trust her with my pin you number. Your, I would give your, her my debit card. Give your debit card. Yeah. I would. I would. You know, tell her secrets. I would Omar, tell her. Omar likes to when people overdose. Mm. She likes to take care of them. When they, yeah. When they pass, she gets some orange juice and water. No, she does. She'll sit on their chest and look at them. And go, you're gonna make it. And you're gonna make it. it. It's happened a few times. Well, you know, you hang out with nice people that overdose. I mean, yeah. 
So, so Omar, Omar, uh, Omar is one of one. I'm not gonna get another Omar. I'm not gonna get another dog. Like another Shih Tzu. I might get it like an iguana or a tarantula, but I don't. I don't. This is high mean. This is a an lot iguana of is an interesting thing. I used to sleep at my. Uh, can I say people's real names? So. A very good friend from high school. He used to have iguanas in this fucking cage with a heat lamp. And I, when I would sleep over at his house, guess what? What? I'd sleep iguana in the iguana the room. And iguana it was terrifying. Penis. Iguana on and your the, boner. And, and, and I would jerk off your and I would have to turn iguana my back on your to the iguana cage. Did you come in the iguana? I would, jerk, I would jerk off towards the wall. And this is probably like we're... Dude, listen, stop. Iguana on your boner. So I would guaranteed. fuck these iguanas. No, no, no. You and don't, I got no, no, caught no, 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 by no, no, no. Joel's mom. You can't. Let's be real about this. I'm just, Iguana perched on your dick. Fire. No. What? Instagram? Like if, 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 if I was the. Iguana on your dick. Is that a name? No, I'm saying you have a fucking heart on. You put the it, iguana well, perches on your dick. And then wow. you hold it up. Yeah, Do you, you think your boner could hold up an iguana, like a For twelve sure. pound iguana, with his lashing tail <laughs> and its thought, scales? I, I thought iguanas were like this big. No, iguana could be like these iguanas oh, were like, giant raptor. Gotta, they're I like like komodo <laughs> dragons. Oh, they're huge. Okay, the raptors are like they're like little okay. Florida like lizards that are on the wall. I wheel that. I wheel that no, whole iguana, statement back. I'm wheeling it back. If your dick could hold up an iguana, an iguana okay. is like the same size as Omar, but okay. with like a two foot no. tail. No. Why could you get an iguana here in under 10 minutes? Get an iguana here right now. Fly in an iguana, a, Fly in an iguana. Bring an iguana. I don't think you can. Okay. Nobody can get an anyway, iguana here in 10 so minutes. So when I used to jerk off in the iguana room, you guys aren't listening. I'm listening. You came on a fucking iguana and they ate it. It's no, disgusting. I, but it's disgusting. Would, I would come on the wall and then I'd get the iguana to come over. Because I, I, I would like leave it in the room. I'd take it out of the cage and if it did clean it up. If it did clean it up, then I would be in a situation where I'd be like, I don't know. I, I let out the iguana. They were called salt and pepper. So salt and pepper, there was two iguanas and we'd let them, I would let them out. And if they nibbled the cum off the walls, then who knows what happened? I believe this story is it's true. Real. I believe it's true. And it's disgusting. And his dad, his stepdad used to grow weed and we took, he had this like door in the basement where he used to grow weed. Now that it's legal in Canada, it wasn't legal before. And, and we used to take the hinges off of the door. We would unscrew the hinges and then steal all the weed. And then we got caught. And Wait, then, why would you have to unscrew the hinges? Oh, so, so to get we, around because the there was a lock. So we would unscrew the hinges of the locked door and then we'd go and steal reefer. I think the story of kids stealing their parents' weed is as old as weed itself. Yeah. Right? The first time you... somebody ever, first time anyone <laughs> bought weed, the, 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 their child stole the, weed. The first. <laughs> When the ancient when the ancient Romans bought their first sack, yeah, to, dime to, bag, Tiberius snuck into, the, into Tiberius the, into the marble cavern and just yeah. scorched off a piece of nug yeah. for him and, his and then buddy. try to like paint paint the stem back, yeah, would make it look like weed, yeah, or still no, vodka and just filled up with water. My old man was a big weed guy, as you know, huh? I told you stories. His dad is. Yeah, yeah, a drug a, dealer. I would say a drug dealer. You not, come from a family of drug dealers. I wasn't going to say that, I but just, you winked at me, and yeah, I'm just telling yeah, them if they didn't I, understand I, that I wink, it means your dad's a drug dealer. I winked at you to to say let's be let's be smooth about this and you've, make a euphemism for he was in the biz or he was around the weed. Not like my dad was a drug dealer. He was a drug dealer. He should go to prison. <laughs> Fuck it, there. He's an old man. He wasn't a drug dealer. He was a purveyor of of. Uh, he was a good times. He was man. a prohibition era uh, business person. Hey like man, that. whatever man. He's from the seventies. There was a. Uh, I know weed is cool. The sixties. Anyway, so he had weed, and as a kid, you know, you just you just nip everyone in the neighborhood would just steal their parents' weed and smoke weed. That's, just That's like, how people survived. You got weed part one, which is the parents smoking weed when they get home from work. And you tomato got plants and weed tomato part two. Tomato plants. Excuse me. That's what we always used to call them. Be like, oh, your parents had like tomato plants growing up. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, weed part one, and then the second. What's second, the level? Weed one is parents' weed. Yeah. You know, having a little jazzy little party with the parents. Watch your parents like swing, fuck, smoking fuck some weed. Parents. You have, have your parents having a key party. You fuck, you fuck. You fuck your parents' friends. You, you fuck your parents' friends. They fuck you in the ass. And then you smoke weed. It's, and and everything's smoke cool. Weed. It's cool. It's, no, nothing's, it's so nice. Nothing's repressed. Yeah. If they're playing the right music and you're smoking the right strain of weed. You're like, this cron is good. Is this cron? And they're like, no, it's cess. And you're like, oh, f perfect. Fuck my, fuck my ass. Yeah, John Henderson from next door. <laughs> yeah, John Henderson, ass. fuck my ass. This is good <laughs> cess. <laughs> this is great cess weed. Fuck my ass, John Henderson. Um, wow, well, got, that got, that went too <laughs> Um, Did you did you fuck John Henderson? In the, no, the I'm party? an oral guy. I'm more oral. You're like, you're With a, weed. 
You're a sucking. You're I'm, suck, a, I'm a suck bag. You're a slurk, slurping and burping kind of guy. I love it. You love it. Whatever's in my mouth. Would it put anything in your mouth, you'll suck it. Well, it's just easy. A dick, a fin, a wing, it's you'll easy. suck it. It doesn't hurt. Right. You ever have a dick in your ass? No. Oh, okay. So what's up with... um? <laughs> so the weed... So you used to steal your parents' weed, eh? Every yeah, I mean everyone whose parents smoked weed stole their parents' weed, right? Yeah, that's just true. standard, right? And then Andrea? it's so funny because with my parents, it's amazing. My parents, when they started smoking weed, we were all in high school because we were we were brought up Mormon, right? And so yeah. then when we stopped being Mormon, all of a sudden weed started coming in. Weed started coming in. It was at the exact same time we're all in high school doing drugs and stuff. And all of a sudden, it was just like a really nice time where we were all just having a good time. And like, I could just be like, hey, mom and dad, can I get like some buds? And like, they would just go into, they would always have like crazy. So they went from being Mormon. To having the best weed that like won like High Times fucking champion High weed. Times Cup weed. Yeah. Really? They, yeah. And it was the best because that's who they were. They were like these amazing really cool amazing people and then they went into the church and we were in the church for like you know 18 20 years and then when we broke out all of a sudden my parents turned into the coolest people ever i was like oh my god my parents what, are they the were coolest growing, people they ever were growing weed no my parents weren't growing weed they were just buying it but like, they bought they bought the best weed in the world dude you know? they would it was like crazy 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 and you sneak in and get a little nuts. we didn't have to sneak in we'd just be like yo like give me some weed what do you got if they had some weed we'd get some weed how old were you some acid some shrooms how old were you I don't know, old enough to do it legally. So right. 17, 16. What do you mean? You're I want to throw my parents you're, under the You were at, at the legal age. I was like 10. The legal age of acid taking with my acid? Parents? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so you can throw my dad straight under the fucking bus. But we talk about you smoking weed over the age of 10 and we're going to fucking have a federal case here. Yeah, we got a federal case. But my, my old man, you just shit all over No, him. I want my parents to go to jail too. They should go to jail. They should go to jail. Steven Joan, you need to go to jail Steven for what Joan you guys did. Yeah. You guys, you need to go to fucking jail. You need to figure it out and you need to pray. Let's you make need this to podcast fucking pray. about, let's get our parents put in jail. Andrew just held up a sign that says the iguana will be here in one hour. This is the greatest podcast in the history of podcasts. <laughs> And if the iguana shows no. up, this is the iguana episode. I this is the pilot. It was about Omar. We're switching lanes. I used to jerk off next to iguanas, and it was just a really good time. Thanks, Joel. Thanks, Joel. Those iguanas used to scare the shit out of me, though. And iguanas don't smell that great. But I always used whenever I'd sleep over at their house, I'd, I'd love it. And it's I used the, to sleep in the iguana room. The power of hormones. Dude, you man. jerk off when you're like a teenager. You jerk off anywhere. Yeah, you just jerk You jerk off literally in a fucking garbage dumpster. It man, sometimes matter. you just got to pull over on the side of the road and just jerk off now. Oh, uh, well, that's not no. crazy. No, okay. No. Do well, you? I don't know. Okay. No. Never. Have you ever jerked off while driving? Mm. I think I've attempted it. I've tried it. It's boring. I need to watch. It's also dangerous. It is dangerous. It's not respectful of other people. That's what I'm talking if about. If you died in a car crash from jerking With off, your dick out. you would be the fucking biggest loser. You'd be a piece of shit. Because you're watching, not only, you're watching porn. In my mind, I'm watching porn because I only jerk off watch. It's not like, a, I think people that are insane, if you jerk off without porn, I think you're an insane person. I think that like you need really a lot of help because I think anyone that can do that and like fuck themselves on memory and just feeling and not watch a presentation of other people fucking, I think you're like you're a serial I've tried killer. To go, I've tried to go off road and like just, you, is that like a new move off. where you end the end of the internet where you see like every no, single thing? No, you'll and never, then like the no, full No, you'll never get to the end. What I've I'm saying is that every end, once in a while I'm like, I'm gonna see if I can just go fucking just full gorilla style, no porn, just memory bank. Like my do you best. scream? Do you have to add stuff? Do you pinch your nipples? I'm like, just, do you have to be full? I, I, do you sit I, on a plunger? I create scenarios. Yeah. Dream scenarios. Do you put your head. face against like the wall? And feel like you're like you're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> I put on a dunce cap. I sit on a stool. Yeah. You know, speaking of, I had a buddy uh, when I was a kid who said he jerked off in the mirror, which I thought I found pretty jerked off in the mirror. I've jerked like, off on mirrors. No, no, no. And then you eat off, it off. Jerked off to the mirror, like oh, I'm jerking off, like to yourself. Yes. Oh. I mean, you might be in that No, camp. that would not be a lot. That would be like, I'm like a skin bag of milk. I'm like a bag of milk jerking what if you off. Got, what if you got really buff? Would if you, I got really buff? Like 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 uh, an American, like you, Mar you, American you, uh, you turn it around, you became virgin? A, you or what's became, that story with Christian Bale? When he's like fucking those chicks no, and that's, murdering that's, everyone. No, he's no, just no, like no, flexing. Stop. That's shredded. That's never going to happen. I'm talking about buff, like beefcake. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't find, I don't, I'm, I'm turned on by that. You know what I'm, or maybe sometimes, sometimes like if I'm getting real bored in a hotel room, I'll like maybe spread my butthole. 
and like get some mirrors going and look at different angles of my butthole. But I, I just mostly like look. I'm, I'm not jerking off at that point. I'm just like I looking. This. I mean, like I'm just looking at it, and I'm just like, hmm. What could go in there? What could come what out? What could of there? go in there? What could come out? What's what would be best case of something that could go in? I there? don't know. Just anything. You know, like just like whatever's lying around. Well, no. What, what about what yeah. part of a person would you like? Nobody. Most? My wife's your wedding wife's, ring. Your wife's. That's tongue. all I care about. It's Trisha. <laughs> Trisha. We don't talk about Trisha on the podcast. Oh, there are there are. Uh, Trisha said nothing. the one thing about the only rule about this podcast is I don't talk about my wife because she's like you're a fucking loser. My wife. My wife. Trisha, I love Trisha so much. Trisha's tight. She she used to fuck me up she in did. college. <laughs> I, like how you, I like how you said you just put the stamp down and say we're not talking about Trish, and then you just open up. You know, back in the college days, she used she to peg we used me. to be so high on drugs, and we would just fuck each other. She would. Mm. What'd she do to you? Stuff. She she pegged. She do stuff. We had we had masks. You got and pegged. Game. We had full cat suits or you got latex. Pegged. I've been pegged. You got pegged. I've been pegged. You got pegged in Winnipeg. No, Humber mm. College, my dorm room, plenty of times. I think I missed out on the college experience. By the time I went to college, I was too old. You're to dropped out. There. Yeah, I was dropped out of high school. I dropped I went, out too. I dropped out of high school and then I went to college, but I didn't go at the time when you could go to the dorms. Oh, everyone, the everyone I talked to that goes to the dorms, like they had orgies in those dorms. I didn't have any orgies because uh, I was faithful to my wife and um, my, wife. my wife and little squishy. She would come in red hot. She she went to school in another town. And so when she we would see each other like once a month fired up and when she come in, it'd be like, OK, she'd like, you know, pull my hair, be like, it's game time. And I'd be like, oh, my God, do I run over to the corner? And I just like perch my little butt up and be like, come get me. <laughs> Did you, just, did, you just, did you just cap that off by farting? Was yeah, that, did fuzzy. I hear that? Oh, man. Oh. This has been a great show. I'm really glad. I'm really she, glad. Yeah, I don't know. We could talk, call her up. When was the last time she pegged me? We should Squish. Trishy. Squishy Trishy. This will be the last time I ever talk about it. She's one of those. She's great. She seems like a great woman. She looks you know, you're not with a woman for 22 years and it's not great. I'll tell you that much. She's a ground and pound kind of girl, you know? Ground and pound. <sighs> she makes me sweat thinking about it. Yeah, you look <sighs> you look flustered right now. She really puts it I on I think this you, is going to huh? be a lot for Trisha to handle. I like it. She won't <laughs> even watch this. She doesn't watch anything I do. <laughs> she doesn't even know why I'm in L.A., really. I think she, she just thinks I come out here to, like, I don't even know. She's like, just fucking. She's like, what are you doing in L.A.? Well, she's like, well, she, doesn't, she, does, she doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't care what I do. She doesn't care. No, she's like, what are you doing? Another show? What are you doing? I'm like, no, nothing. She's like, make, make babies, pay the mortgage. I'm a thoroughbred. Now she she has a perfect situation. She uses me for 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 inseminations. Sperm. And our perfect children are perf our beautiful, perfect children. And then she's happy. She has beautiful, perfect children. You did and then, make some fire ass kids, I will say. <sighs> Pretty good. They're good the job. greatest. I don't say I don't think like my kids are like actually the most beautiful children in the world, but I think other people do. Right. And I think a lot of my friends have ugly kids. And I think that like they are always like it's I'm always like my friends are always like, man, your kids are so cute. I'm like, thank you. And I don't reciprocate because I can't be a liar like your kids. Like if your kids are ugly, then it's just like I can't. Yeah, I can't kid, be a part of that. Like a ghoulie. Yeah. Like if your kid looks like, you know, Omar's dead eye, it's yeah. just like you can't. You can't. It's like a bag of fucking squished tomatoes. Yeah, I dude, mean, some kids it, are fucked looking. There's some ugly kids. I don't understand. There. Like you have these beautiful people having even like like I do think everyone is beautiful, but sometimes kids are crazy looking. And my kids just look like Gerber children. <clears throat> my children look like 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 Rizzo is so beautiful and Mac is so beautiful. Like he's just like the most gorgeous boy. Beautiful children. You beautiful. did a good job. Beautiful, 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 strong, strong, mentally healthy. sound. Mac is in, highly intelligent. Caucasian children. Caucasian. Yeah. <laughs> Safe. <laughs> Safe. Canadian. Canadian. Caucasian. Caucasian. White. In the woods. In the woods. Hacking wood. Herding I mean, what, deer. What a what a great place to grow up for Mac in that little spread, you know. He's gonna like his dad. His dad comes home. We moved says, to the country, you know. You know, your no dad, city life. Your, your dad comes home and he goes, "Hey Mac, I'm gonna paint a battleship and uh, and it looks like shit." And my Mac, painting does not look. What do you mean my painting looks like shit? In a, in a great way, in an artistic way. No, no, no. It's it looks like it was painted by a retarded four year old. But no that, way, but you but can't. That, first of all, you can't say that. Second of all, you 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 you. 
I paint amazing and my style is my style. Like what determines what determines good or bad in art? Oh, it's called eyeballs. No, it's not eyeballs. It's called eyeballs? <laughs> yeah. That's rude. My art, you know what all the people watching is because of me. And they know that my art is good. They don't know that. They don't know two-tone drawing on walls, being a vandal, Listen, causing problems in at, society. At this point, you can do whatever you want and people will co-sign you, right? So your art doesn't have to be <laughs> I'm at the level where, the, where I can paint horrible shit paintings that like look like kids paint. Yeah. And 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 why and am I people wearing will these? Rally, people will rally time. behind it. And now they yeah. That's just the world we live in, man. No, because that's what sells. I'm fucking hot commodity. What goes? Maddie's painting out. Let's sell them. I'm selling those paintings for 20 racks you're already. Both, you're both I already sold both of those paintings for 20,000 each. Okay, now you're lying. I'm going to I'm going to spot the lies and call those them are out. lies. The the iguana I'll shit. I'll agree. The iguana Me stuff. Me jerking off on the wall in the iguana that's room no, no, is real? That's true. That's true. No. That's no? a lie. See? You, spread you can't your, tell. Spreading your butt? No, I can tell. Spreading my butt in the mirror? I did that in Australia once. You did do that. And I'm just saying it once. Yeah. I did it. Okay. And I was horny as shit. And I was in a hotel room and you the mirror you, lined up and I kind of leaned on the bed and I looked back and I was like, my, and then I like spread my butthole with both hands. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and that was it. No one, no one ever needs to see that. And then I took like, I tried to take my comb. And get it up there? It didn't really work. My angles, my arms are too short or something. You know combs don't really go in buttholes. Well, it was like it had a round little edge on it and I thought it could go you in. You tried to... <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fish hook, man. This is not going to work. <laughs> when I laugh like that, my head, I don't get air. My head gets fuzzy. I don't see a lot of air getting in there too much. You got the circulation's tough. I right? don't know. What do you want me to talk about? What do you, we're talking here? What do you... This is the greatest. What about you? What about the fact that you had uh, stretched uh, gauge ears? I'm looking at your earlobes right now. Like my earlobes. I had my earlobes stretched out uh, to to double zero. That is, uh, I think it was double zero. I forget, or maybe something like that. Uh, I haven't had my ears stretched since I got these kit. You know when I lost these? I was in great story podcast. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold the fucking phone, Maddie. We got a little word from our sponsor. Oh my goodness, Manscaped is forever, forever changing the grooming game with the Perfect Package 3.0 Essentials Kit. Did you know the Perfect Package comes with the new and improved lawnmower 3.0? Let's hear it on the microphone. It's waterproof. It's a cordless body trimmer with a ton of other liquid formulations to round out your manscaping routine. And of course, let's not forget about the Crop Preserver. Okay? Hey. An anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer you already put deodorant on your armpits right yes so why are you not putting deodorant on the smelliest part of your body alex i never thought about my my ball armpits well when you purchase the new perfect package 3.0 kit at manscaped.com you get the biggest bang for your buck for a limited time now, subscribers get not one, but two free gifts, Al. The Shed Travel Bag, $39 value Holy add. Shit. Look at that bag. Look you want to travel? Pure you crocodile. You want parts in that? Guess what? It's safe and protected. It's patented, high-performance, anti-chafing boxer briefs where's the manscaped boxer briefs Whoop. holy cannoli guys guess what we're protected we're safe this is the perfect package for you get 20 percent off free shipping with the code pta at manscaped.com alex Get 20% off from free shipping with the code PTA at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code PTA. Your partner, your body, and your balls will thank you. And thank you very much for my partner, my body, and my balls. Manscaped.com. Code PTA. 20% off. That's not your balls. Great story. Okay, here we go. Trisha's 21st birthday. We were at the Palmwood, which is in Crystal Beach, where I just moved back home. We were leaving the bar. It was her birthday. Me and my crew were fucking wasted. We're fucking killing it. We're 21, top level. I'm like fucking an athletic. Top level. Like I'm a fucking, I'm a tank at this time. You know, yeah. like I'm fucking, I'm beefy. And Omar. No. And we walk out of the bar and my older brother, who's a fucking psychopath. We give her some chicken. Give your dog some chicken. 
Omar, give your dog some checky little check checks. So you come out the bar with your. So crew. we come out the bar. And you're we're leaving brolic, the bar. Just just back it up. You're brolic at this point. Like you're like. We're like you're well, no, the I'm just like I'm just like I'm not fat. I'm no, not I've like seen the successful. Let's, back me up here. You're brolic. I'm brolic. You're I'm, fucking. I play you're the cross. A, you're a slab I'm of fucking beef. ripped. Yeah. I'm fucking a psychopath. Savage. Savage. Head I'll fucking butter. go you're a head throwing butter. hands, bro. Hands. Bam. Bite. Bam. Bite. Bite. Who wants a piece? Punch it up. So we're bah, bah, bah. <laughs> so we leave. So we're leaving the fucking bar, and we're leaving the bar. And my brother's like blackout wasted because Beef always gets blackout wasted, and we're all pretty wasted. And we go, and we're leaving the bar. And my brother bumps into some fucking big dude. And we're in a small town, so everybody would like we're a fucking hockey town, so everyone wants to fucking go, and we fucking go. And so we go outside, and we're on a fucking beach. It's on the beach, right on the lake. And we're fucking going and we're like, okay, who the fuck? And like, we all like line up their crew. It's like five on five kind of shit. And, and then we're like, we're not going to fight. And then all of a sudden it was like, we're not going to fucking fight. Fuck this. We're all going to go home. It's late. Everyone, we almost had like a conversation. <laughs> we had like, like ah, a, ma a mature agreement. We're good. Yeah. And then, and then Trisha, she yelled out, she yelled out something like, yo, go fuck yourselves. You Eat fucking my dick, loser. salmon yeah, fucker. Yeah, she was like, suck my dick, you fucking losers. Iguana tits. Yeah, she says something to it. And then they're like, shut that bitch up. Nice. And then we're all like, Woo! It's go time. And then I'll boom, just boom. say, I've only broken two people's jaws in my life, but that guy got his jaw broke that night. What? And I lost my earplugs because I got in a headlock from this other dude. And my brother, my brother got sucker punched. He got a black eye that night. It was pretty good. And, and we ripped, the, we beat the fuck out of these dudes and then we stripped them naked and we threw them in the fucking ditch. Nice. <laughs> So we pounded these dudes out and then, but the funny thing was, it was like the funniest thing ever was when we, we whatever, we stripped them naked because we fucking, whatever. They were kind of older than us and so we were kind of like young psychopaths. Yeah, yeah. These guys were kind of older, like probably in their 30s. Yeah. Whatever. We worked these dudes <laughs> and the one dude got fucked up and, and, and I got ahead and I lost my, my plugs. Right. For the better. And I, and I, and, and, and I, you know, I was just very sad about it. But was, you, and thing, that was the time I, I was like I was a man you the, know I was fucking around I had my, my emo hair and I, oh, yeah. tattoos and you know I had my ears stretched out listening to like Poison the Well or like some fucking emo shit I don't know yeah whatever emo, Poison the Well's but the best the they thing, just played LA they just had like a reunion oh, show okay great but listen the thing with the earplugs here's a good thing about that happening y yeah you got out early I got out early you got that, out that, early that's like 2000 yeah. 2001 because some people are still hanging on Cause just say, well, how old am I? I'm 37. Uh -huh. So how many years ago when I was 21? I don't know. What's the math on that, George? 17. 37 minus 21. 17. Or wait, how old are you? Let's stop the show and calculate things. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so that math ago. doesn't add up. Anyway, I was 21. So what year was that? Doesn't matter. Good talk. So when we 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 uh, so I lost those. And that's good because these used to smell. You ever smell these things? No. They smell like a fucking asshole. I don't want nothing to do They smell like a cheesy. You know when you if, you if you wipe a little bit and you leave a little bit on and no. then you work out and then you don't shower and then you go away and you drive for a really long time yeah. and then you go and you piss. Yeah. And when you piss, you can smell the undercarriage. Yeah. And the undercarriage has a like a sweet brand smell. Okay. Like a like a like just think this is like a two day, like two days shit. Like a fucking couple eight hour drives, warm asshole constantly. Yeah. And the shit and the asshole and the sweat and everything down there in the undercarriage really kind of, kind of comes together and it becomes a sweetness. Oh God. And so so it's like head cheese. So that's like kind of like my my <laughs> life is kind of always at that that pinnacle moment of it. It's just always at like it smells like like raisin bran. Are we gonna have to mic your ass? No, we don't need to mic my ass. Did I don't we think we need that? to mic did my we, ass. We, we could mic that? my ass. We could have a fart mic. I don't fart that often. We just had the rotisserie chicken. I must have. It's the chickpeas. It's the hummus. The hummus. The hummus makes the hummus gassy. makes me gassy. It's the chickpea. The pot of chic, French. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, but with the but it was a blessing. But now I still I'm, now I'm at the point in my life where I want to like cosmetically change myself. You know, I'm I'm self conscious about some things. So now I want to I want to sew up my ears because a lot of people are like, hey, nice cat's ass. It looks like a cat's asshole. Ha <laughs> ha. You were that one of those emo kids. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm an emo. Look at me. I'm covered in tattoos and I'm white. Yes, yeah, I went to hardcore you, shows. Right. Obviously, but but you idiots. Can, you can turn that part around from the ears. And I got my little, I, I got my little gold rings from Jane. Jane at New Top, shout out to New Top, shout out Jane, baby, New York City. 
That's what your nipples are going to look I like. I went and got Trishy some chains, and then Jane was like, hey, let's put some hoops in there. And I was like, you don't say no to Jane. And so I, Jane gave me these for Christmas, and I'd like to say thank you to Jane. Thanks, Jane. If you need some chains, go to Jane. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> so, Alex, what was it like growing up in Venice in the 70s? I wouldn't know that, <laughs> Batty. Why? Uh, so when you you guys were like, was it like um, like blood in, blood out? Like, is yeah. that... Yeah, it was me. <laughs> it was me, Mikolo, and El Chupo. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, it was, I don't know, man. Venice Venice in the 80s and 90s, not the 70s. It was scary. Yeah, it was a rough neighborhood. Is it um, like now? Like, I went there a few days ago. It was really nice. A lot of selfies and... and yeah, it's, it's, it's different. It's like, it's like weapons level gentrification in Venice. Like, this shit is like, not like rich people, like wealthy people. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, everyone's... You go down to Abikini and it's like every like during the day everyone. It's just G wagons and Lamborghinis. Yeah, and all the men are like at work. This is you know what it is what it is. Yeah, you can say I'm being sexist, and then their wives are shopping. And they're all like ex supermodels. Yeah, and it's just all these like gazelles walking around in and out of these stores in Abikini. Everything just looks like white like, baskets. Going on? Yeah, everyone's buying just, a basket or pottery. Everything's made of wicker. Everything's <laughs> fucking artisanal. Everything's <laughs> organic. Free range well, cocaine. Everything. You cocaine. Do you think everyone's on cocaine down there? Uh, cocaine is okay. Everyone's one. on let's cocaine just, in LA. Is everyone on, on cocaine in this LA? This is one record. Cocaine is fantastic. Number one, mm -hmm. I don't, favorite drug of all time. It's the best. It's my favorite drug of all time. I don't do it anymore. Flew too close to the sun, didn't we, Alex? We burnt our wings. Oh, I can't. Icarus, <laughs> Icarus, wax we wings, the, everyone. We burnt our this wax podcast wings. is brought to you by Icarus, uh, wax two wings. drug addicts. Yeah. I'm Maddie Bass, and I'm a I'm a drug addict. I'm also a drug addict. Yeah. <laughs> We're covering. Cocaine is is uh, man. I gotta tell you, it's amazing. I was talking to this guy on mm. jobs on a job, and uh, this guy is my DP. He's Colombian. What's a DP? He's a director of photography. He's a camera guy. Oh, and, and he's Colombian. Of course he is. Right, and he's talking. He's talking about cocaine, and he talks about how people say, you know, they get try to get him to cocaine. He goes, "That's not cocaine. That's not cocaine. That's not cocaine." Because he he's had cocaine. Like I've I'm had talking, cocaine. Yeah, you've had like the real melty yellow baby shit cocaine, where it's like no, you can sleep. Like I had I had real cocaine in Costa Rica. Okay, and cocaine was fifteen dollars a gram, right? And I'm sure we were still getting ripped off. It was fifteen fifteen bucks a gram. Imagine this fifteen dollars grams of cocaine in America. Twenty years ago, right? Fifteen bucks a gram, and it was like yellow soft just lumps it was so pure that it would just melt in humidity no and we were just we had so much of it we were just like putting cigarettes in it and snorting it smoking it doing whatever the fuck we did, you, put, did you touch your ass like put a little bit and touch never your thought of, never thought about it but okay later in life i did some stuff like that but not yeah that you did i know some stories but the, but the but the best part about it was is that you could do this shit all night and then just go to sleep i can go to sleep anytime on any cocaine really yeah i was like i'd do a fucking eight ball and just Go wake that? up at eight, go to you, bed. You're the type of motherfucker to do an eight ball and eat a pizza. Not no, even, no, that's disgusting to me. Eating on cocaine is what, disgusting. The first time we hung out, you were high on cocaine, eating fucking chicken wings at fucking night market, fucking coke all over your nose. Yeah, huh. but, yeah, but I wasn't. I wasn't high. Yeah, was, you were sweating and you were gross, and I thought you were you were a really nice guy. And then I showed up. You were high on cocaine. I was having a tough patch. <laughs> It, it wasn't was a that, tough patch. It, it wasn't that I was high on cocaine. It's that I was doing so much cocaine at the time that it was just a part of my. It was just in my system all the time. So you're the guy who would eat a pizza on cocaine because you were the guy that eating spicy not, Thai chicken wings at night market on cocaine. Not typically, but I think I was on a run, so I was like, a, a I run. was on the end of a run, and I just was like, okay, not well, to put you on blast. I don't give a shit. Whatever. I did a lot. I did a lot of fucking drugs. Why I don't do drugs? I did a lot of drugs. What do you want? I love doing drugs. Drugs are great. We're is gonna it? relapse on this podcast. We're not, we're, I can't relapse. No, I know that's not a joke. I can't do we it. Can, you could probably relapse and keep it moving. I can't. I can't do it. I, I can't relapse ever because anyway, we'll talk later. We'll talk later. Um, When's your guy? Is your guy coming? To, yeah. uh, well, the funny thing about cocaine today. Yeah. The best thing ever. Yeah. See, these are the things that happen in the world in L.A. The most L.A. The, I think that is the most L.A. thing. I texted you this morning about it, didn't I? Oh, so the most L.A. thing that I think I have ever seen so in the history in the history of like everything, yeah. The history of every interaction I've ever had in LA, this is the most LA thing ever. I was having a meeting at and I went into the washroom after my meeting, and on the floor, I looked down <laughs> and there was like a pile of cocaine. Can we show the picture? On the floor. 
Um, okay, I'm going to tell you too, for people that have done cocaine. <laughs> Monday morning, 9 a.m., cocaine on the floor? But not only that, the spillage, there's enough in there. If you crush up those little nuggets, you could have made a healthy, a decent line. Look at all the little rocks. See all those little rocks? If we, we'll, That's some cocaine. Am we'll I wrong? That. We'll circle this in post. <laughs> See, see the little nuggets right here, those little rocks? That, if you crush it all that down, up. You that's can do a fat it. That's line. a line. That's a line. So did somebody, like, I'm trying to think. Like, is that cocaine? Yeah. That's or is that just, cocaine. like, plaster? No, it's Coke, man. Come do you on. think it's what, Coke? What, don't, don't, don't fucking ruin the story. It's cocaine. It's, uh, that's cocaine, that's right? cocaine. What are you talking <laughs> about? Like co- I was like, I saw it. I was like, why could out? And I looked down. I was like, like, like fucking eight just years ago, it. I would have fucking sucked that fucking right off the ground. I would have uh, off a bathroom. You would have felt fantastic about it too. I used to love doing coke off. Like for my birthday, I remember one time I I bought all this coke, and I lined an entire toilet seat, and I did a line the side or all the. That was my favorite thing, and I just did like what a whole line around, around, around a, a toilet. Yeah, That's and I just was like, Damn! all the way. You were like toilet. a dirty punk kid who just thought, that yeah, was cool. just punk, whatever. I remember how do I, they? How do, how do you supposed to do cocaine off like a, a fucking goddamn fucking Lamborghini key fob? How do people yeah, do absolutely. coke in L.A.? They all have car fobs. There's no more keys. No, there's no keys for anything. People have do people keys. have keys? Well, you know, people do still live in houses. So okay, in order to get in your house, there's no. House there's a house key, so there. everyone uses their house key because car yeah. keys don't exist anymore, do they? They exist. People have cars. Listen, I remember I had a birthday party <laughs> and I got myself a nice a nice chunky eight ball, and I went to this party when I was a kid, like you know. Late teens, early twenties. So seventy <clears> six. <throat> when, when was the year? What was the 1976, year? Nineteen seventy six. Yeah, when Galaga came out, <laughs> and um, so I, I I got I had this I had a big bag of coke. I had my supplies. I had a, I had a big chunk of coke. I had a bunch of weed, and I probably had some pills or something. And I'm at this party, and I'm just kind of being a weirdo and like doing coke by myself because it wasn't really a <laughs> cocaine party. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not partying there. I'm just this is my little party kit for my birthday. And then what I was doing is I was giving everybody bonglos. This is back in the bong days when people used to you know do sit around just bong just face. Bong. It was a, we're having a party. People were just doing bongs, right? Okay. And then what I was doing is like. I'm high on coke, and I'm like, dude, everyone wants their their bong load covered in coke, like a little little mountain of cocaine. And I was in like, the bong, yeah, in the bong. I so was you like, smoke coke? I never smoke coke. Yeah, I would. Yeah, you do. Like you know, you fucking do a. Um, that doesn't feel good. That doesn't. I don't think. See, to me, that's a waste. Oh, it's great. No, it's great. Smoking coke is stupid. Smoking. No, it's great. It's great. What about the other C smoke? Cock. 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 Crack. Crack. Yeah, that's 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 powerful. Um, so I just kept dumping piles of coke and everyone's bong loads and this one and then you just smoke it and then I, but i didn't tell people i was doing it i was just doing it i was like so you're just you're dosing I, people i thought i was being like friendly Helpful. because i was so high and, and you're just like gadooch yeah you're yeah. like a little bit of white a little <laughs> bit of green and a go to to go yeah suck back that bong and someone 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 caught wind and uh, and they're like alex and is was like free base the and they fucking lost their shit they're just like <gasps> who's this cool and they're just having a, and i just like i just went in the other room and that was i and you know what happened i think i had like a mini overdose in yeah. the other room I yeah think i felt i, I kind of fell out on the bed and and i kind of checked out for a little bit yeah that's good yeah i like yeah. that I, think I checked out of reality it was a little it was a bit much see this whole coke dosing thing reminds me i don't know if it happened to a lot of people but did you ever have a friend, if we ever smoked a joint and then your buddy, has your buddy ever just been like, that was fucking laced, bro? Oh, like yeah. Like the guy who'd like lace something and you're like, who, who would do laces that? as a drug addict? Yeah. I'm not giving anybody anything for free. What drug addict gives free drugs? That was me. I was giving people free yeah, drugs. Yeah, that's night. you. You're not a drug dealer. Nobody ever buys drugs. Like if you bought a bunch of pre-rolls, oh, I see if you bought like a bunch of fucking pinners and, and somebody smokes a joint, they're like, that was laced, bro. That was fucking late. It did happen. It would happen. Nobody's when you, lacing anybody. No, listen. You go and smoke a joint with someone like on the boardwalk and someone you don't know, some older. Who's dude. smoking weed on the boardwalk? Is kids, that a, no. kids, kids, like kids back in the day. Oh, I'm gonna go smoke weed with this <coughs> dude. He gives you a joint, doesn't tell you it's got Sherman in it. Next thing you know, you're walking upside down. Fucking, you know, you're seeing everything. Sherm. Is that angels dust? It is the angels dust. Yeah, angels dust. I got a great. I got a great story about someone being dosed. Yeah. My mom. Mm. I went to visit my uh, mom in in Oregon. Right? Yeah. Went to visit my mom. I was there. She's a professor. Went to visit her with my brother. Should I not tell this story? Yeah, no, it's a great story to tell. You, this is the powerful truth, angels. Okay, these are the story. I just talked about getting pegged. Yeah, but you know, you're you're being kind of farcical about it. it. Might not have been true. You also talked about fucking iguanas and all kinds of. I shit, don't so. fuck iguanas. I only fuck an iguana every once in a while. Okay, I'll tell the story. Since is the sunset just, nice? Since you pressed me so hard, are we catching. The it's sunset? beautiful. You got a nice sunset. I know. We need a powerful truth angel shot. Um, is it good? 
Oh, let's just take a break from the show. And look oh at my the god, it's like so LA. See, LA is the best. Okay, talk about your mom doing angel dust. <laughs> let's get back to your mom doing angel okay, dust. Okay, so I was in. My mom was in Oregon at the time. Yeah, I was there with my brother at the time. I wasn't sober, so me and my brother were like, let's cop some weed. So we go out and get some weed, and then we get weed that has wax in it. Right? I don't know if you're familiar. I don't know if you're. A weed yeah, wax guy. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wax is good. Right, wax class. Is we use a powerful class. shit. Right, okay. What? No. Okay, so we get this we get this weed. It's got wax in it, and my mom's got this condo, and she has two condos, and me and my brother are in the top one, and she's in the bottom one, or vice versa, or whatever the fuck. So we're smoking the weed, and my mom comes up. She goes, what are you guys doing? Like, we're smoking weed. She goes, can I have some? And I go, no. And she's like, well, why? And I go, listen, I, you this is too strong for you. Yeah. Okay, you can't handle this weed. Yeah. I Trust me, I know this. She goes, she goes, you you listen to me. I was from, I'm from the '60s. Yeah. I know how to fucking smoke weed. <laughs> yeah. And I go, Ma, you're not smoking this weed. And then I not take this weed. I take the joint and I hold it up in the air. Yeah. Because she's grabbing for it. She's like, Give me the fucking weed. Yeah. And I'm holding up in the air. And then my my mother starts jumping in the air. Yeah. And at that point, I'm embarrassed as a son. Yeah. And I'm like, Okay, well, your I mom's have to, jumping up and down for the weed. She's just, it's like you're like holding a popsicle college, for a child or this something. College professor. <laughs> yeah. She's jumping in the air and she's like, Give it to me. I go, Okay. I go, I'm going to give this to you, yeah. but here's what's going to happen. You're going to smoke this weed, and you're going to call some type of authority on yourself. Right. Trust me. I know how this goes. She goes, I'm... You're going to call the through. cops on yourself. She's like, I, did, I survived this. I did... I go, okay. And I'm going to go, you can have one hit. That's all you're getting. She goes, okay, fine. I give her I give her, <laughs> I give her, her one hit of weed, takes a puff, sits down, goes, I'm dying. <laughs> there's, there's something in the weed. I'm calling. I'm calling the she police. She went instantly. Instantly, I was like, I, it was like textbook. And she goes, I'm calling. I, I'm calling. I'm calling a, an ambulance. I'm calling. I go, Ma, you're not calling anybody. No, she goes, no, no, no. I'm calling the cops. And at this time, you were at probably at the height of your graffiti, so you know that like you never rat on yourself. The laws of the streets. No, this has nothing to do with my mom. The okay. laws of the streets. It was, I don't know. It was what... me trying to protect my mom from get, from getting calling herself the cops in on trouble. herself. Yeah, which is a pretty then, typical practice that people do when they get too high. So she wanted to call the cops. She wanted to call a fucking ambulance. She said the weed had something in it. I go, it's just fucking weed. So basically, that night, wax weed. It had wax in it. Yeah, which I failed to mention, but. <laughs> <laughs> Did I dose my mom? You dosed your mom. <laughs> I dosed my mom. You dosed your mom. Um, so basically, I had to I had to ensure that she wouldn't call the cops on her and take her down to her condo and lay there on the ground while she sat there. Oh. And and in her weed delirium, she told me that she thought that me and my brother were trying to kill her <laughs> and take her money. <laughs> and I go, Ma, what money? Yeah. There, uh, there's no money. There's no money, mom. There's nothing to take. What are you talking about? Mom, do you about? have money? You have a fucking ceramic cat that we really want, but like, you know, besides that, we're not going to kill you for it. No. And that, you know, and that and that was the end of that and I had to I had to basically tuck her in that night cuz oh. she was going to, you know, she was going to get herself put in the loony bin over weed. Man, I remember my mom one time we were so high and we were at her house and my mom wouldn't get out from underneath the fucking uh <laughs> She was like trapped underneath the glass, like coffee table. <laughs> and she like crawled from, she got out of there. You guys and, are doing a hot lunch? Dude, there was like straight up, she was just like, there's a fucking purple snake behind the couch. There's a purple snake behind the couch. <laughs> and like, you need to get under here. Under the glass table. And we were all just like, mom, Cause dad I know these shrooms are fucking good. Dad's gonna come take a shit on the table. <laughs> And we're all just while like, you guys are under it, dude. It was like the funniest thing ever. I just remember, like, I don't remember really what happened because we just kept partying. I think jo Joni just kind of chilled under the table for a while. Let me back it up for a just a fucking tad. Yeah, you did shrooms with your parents. Yeah, that's fucked up. No, we're cool, man. We're like that small town folk. That's no, that's Pardon, not, what do you do on the weekends? That's not what small town folk do. Yeah, you're supposed to be knitting fucking scarves. We and, were knitting. We were making, making like nice, beautiful hams. rope carpets. Psychedelic scarves. That's yeah, dude, we were mushrooms is chill. I mean, I smoke weed. It's not like we're doing heroin with my parents. We're doing some mushrooms on the weekend. That's crazy. From Mormons to mushrooms with the whole family. It was the best. It was the best of times. Dude, my parents are the best, man. My folks times. are the best. Now we're nobody does anything. <laughs> Did we lose Andrea? Where's she? Going? Where's Andrea? She's getting. Uh, who cares? Why? Why would you just check in on that? You're. We're having the greatest podcast of our lives. And you're just, sitting here talking about Andrea, the set director. The, the and she PD. didn't even really set it up. She, look at her. This look is her, how your house was before. Look at her contribution. She added that. That's the one thing. Look, she added She's that. A it's a dollar ninety nine. She's a production designer. This is what she got. 
The two fucking. We took all the art off the walls. It's this stupid look sketchy. I feel like this. Is it's this so set sketchy, sketchy looking? Just, we don't even have our sign. There's a I'm, dead r fucking spider on the wall. I thought it was a cockroach. I got a. The sign is done. I can. I can. The have sign it isn't in. done. Yeah, it is. Look, it's not flying it. in. There's no flying in. This is the podcast. This is what you wanted it to be. No, you I know want about. We we've been talking about doing a podcast for quite some time, and now we're doing the podcast. Look at the sign. And this is our. That's fun. Hey everyone, check out this. Show the camera. Look at the sign. Guys. Show the camera, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's, it's gonna, gonna be great. It's gonna be up behind the wall. It's gonna it's be behind it's, the it's wall. Three by, three Powerful by three truth feet. angels. Alex had what? My we've buddy, been talking about. We've been working on a podcast for six months. Yeah. Fuck. Perfect. Fuck it. This how, is the powerful truth angels. We've been talking long, for twenty minutes. How long has it been? Twenty minutes. What time? How long is it? Fifty-six minutes. What? This is the greatest podcast of all time. Woo! We talked about sex. We talked about food. We talked about your dog dying. We talked about me fucking my own dick in an iguana. Covered a lot of bases. We fucking we. This is what podcast. This is for the buddies with no buddies. Yeah. We're a safe place for buddies without buddies. We want you to learn about yourself through us. Buddies without buddies. Buddies without buddies. Friends with no friends. Friends with no friends. We are the outside. We are the fringe. We are the people that are looking. Stop it. Picking our noses and eating the boogers because we know that you do it too. Right. We're here for you. We'll be your friend. Take us in your car. I want to Take be. us in the shower. Take us to work. Take us, us in the in shower. Headphones. Who listens to podcasts in the shower? I There's do. fools. Eat I do. I do. I listen to podcasts. Listen, I'll put a podcast on from the minute I get up into the shower, into the car, into the fucking gym, back. It's just going, 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 going. It gets me, it gets, keeps me alive. I never gives listen to one, podcasts. I know. You don't do anything. You don't watch movies. You don't listen to podcasts. You don't watch. You know what? You know what Maddie I've does? I've watched TV in three years. You know what Maddie does when he's. Maddie's always on the road. Mm, I'm a he road traveled. man. He's a road warrior. I'm a road okay. man. Two over 200 flights last year. Okay, so he's on the road constantly. That means a lot of hotels. Mm. Me personally, when I get in a hotel, the first thing I do mm. in a hotel is turn on the TV so I can feel like there's another human being in the room. Put on a movie. <gasps> a buddy that needs a buddy. A buddy needs a buddy. A friend with no friends, right? Mm -hmm. So I try to I try to get uh, you know acclimated into the room, feel like a person there. But what Maddie does is when he gets in there, he turns off the TV. You know, and if the TV's there, on, because sometimes on. they have it on just to welcome okay, you. Okay, what I'm trying to emphasize is that he doesn't turn on the TV, which I find bizarre. He doesn't play any music. He just sits in his fucking room and thinks about himself and thinks about his projects and thinks about how much money he's going to make. He thinks about his freaking flyer miles, thinks about his assistant, thinks about his manager, <laughs> thinks about his projects, how many restaurants am I going to start a new pizza place? Should I reinvent the cheeseburger? Do we need more meatloaf? What is the Caesar salad? What is spaghetti? What is Parmesan? What am I? Am I 42% Parmesan myself? My human body, is it made of cheese? What the fuck am I? I'm Maddie Matheson. I'm alone in my room. I'm my own orbit. I'm my own planet. I'm spinning around myself. I am my own gravity. I am Mars. I am Jupiter. I am Venus. I am Uranus. I'm Maddie. And that's what you do in your room. Every single day. It's crazy. Over three years. Just over three years now. No television and 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 no noise. No noise in my hotel room. That's and crazy. I sit there. <clears throat> and I giggle to myself. And I think about everything. You are the John Wayne Gacy of cooking. Mm-hmm. A I'd true, like to be a true psychopath. I'd like to be. A true. One day, I wish I could be as good at killing children as John Wayne Gacy. As as, as if I could, if, if I if, could, if, if I could kill children as good if as, killing, as John Wayne Gacy, if, and if I could cook just as good as that first kill. If killing children was a bullion base. If, just, if, if killing children was a bullion base, and John Wayne Gacy was, uh, was a prime Paul Bocuse, the great rest in peace, chef. But if he was that good, yeah. If I could just be like a tenth as good. At cooking, at murdering, as as as, as John Wayne Gacy at was at murdering children. children, I'd be a great chef. You're very close. You're, I'd say you're very close. But that's what I think about. I, th I I try. Well, no, there's a lot of noise in the world. Two tone, and I like to. I I spend so much time traveling. I spend so much. Like my whole life is on social media. There's a lot of noise on social media, and and my hotel time is my time to just decompress and to, and I don't you know. I don't listen to music. I don't do anything. And I just, I sit there six hours. Breathe in, breathe out. And I sit on the edge of the bed. Naked. Nope. Fully clothed. 
I sit on the edge of the bed for hours. Dressed like a little sailor. And then I'll be like, it's bedtime. And I'll tuck myself in. And I'll go to bed and then I'll wake up at 6, 5.30 in the morning usually. Do some push-ups. No. 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 (laughs) (laughs) I wish I was the rock. (laughs) I wake up the same time. You know, like Mark Wahlberg and all these people that wake up at like 4 a.m. And they wake up at 3 a.m. Mark Wahlberg gets up at 2 o'clock in the morning to work out. (laughs) It's crazy. So, so. I do that, except I don't work you out. You don't work out, no. So I wake up around like five, five-ish every morning. And I wake up and I'm like, am I going to work out today? And then I just choose not it's to because I'm just, I'm so f- uh, fat and so sad. Yeah. And, um, you know, this podcast is a cry for help. <laughs> will, you, will you help me? <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Well, no, you've lost a lot of weight. And I think you doing jujitsu. Yeah. Because Alex, Alex... Um, Mr. Two Tone here, graffiti guy. He he's a diet he's a diet guy. So he really loves every time we hang out. Hey man, I'm doing uh, keto now. I can't eat that pita. Hey man, I'm uh, doing a uh, fucking butt fuck fucking stupid fucking loser diet. Can't eat uh, broccoli, no vegetables. Um, just eating just steak. Uh, every time I see you, you're doing a new thing. And for the last couple of years, you've been really depressed and sad. And I think you've been chasing all these, uh, wild (laughs) things. I think you finally just being normal and eating right and doing jujitsu and hiking the way you have, you've lost more weight. You look great. Your self-esteem is growing every day. Cause I really try to help you with that. And, and I just think that like, you're becoming a better person and your, your glow is, is, is blinding. And I think it's really nice. And a lot of people are talking about it. The only a lot thing, of people are talking about how, how great you look. And like you used to be fatter than me. And, well, and you were you were just like gross. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> Why is it crazy? I wasn't fatter than you. I just wear small clothes. That's I'm really not that fat. I just wear not. small clothes. <laughs> you're a normal sized guy that wears a tight shirt. I wear this is a size small. Everything you said was complete horseshit, except for the part about me glowing. No, everyone, everyone, everyone that, was talking. That'll take. Everyone was I'll, talking. That, I'll take that. Everyone's talking about me. Your glow. But, but the reason why they're talking is because I, I really was a mess. So the way I look at it is if you just looked good your whole life, yeah. then no one talks about it. But if you look good after you looked really bad, then people are like, That's, that guy looks great. That but looks, he, guy looks great. Compared That's like to me. him looking like a tub of shit. Like if you, if you decided, here's, here's my dream for you. And here's I had, my dream. Okay, let's hear, here's no. everyone's dream. It's the same dream everyone has. No, no, no. Mine's if different. I was to no, lose no. a little bit of weight. You wouldn't die. I wouldn't die. Guess Come what? Here. My blood pressure, perfect. My cholesterol, perfect. More lights. Everything is perfect. Check out my blood work. I'm going to bring my blood work. I'm going to do blood. blood work. And I'm going to show everyone my cholesterol, Your blood. my blood pressure. Everything about my body is perfect. I'm just highly obese. I'm on. Your blood pressure is butter. Your cholesterol is it's fucking is goddamn cream. tube steaks. It's a giant hot dog. My bloodline is just one moving here, hot dog. If, if I could... If I could, I know you yeah, don't yeah, want no, to hear. Yeah, yeah, no, I'd love to hear your uh, I advice. Put, I look at you. Have a great your sh- The shape of your body's great. It's just big. I'm fucking like a piece you, of shit tied up in the middle, bro. I'll great. fucking pound. You'll pound. Yeah, you're strong. I feel your arms. I walked you know. fucking. I walk fast. No, nah, let's not get crazy. Here's what. Here's what would be I, good. I have for a you. fast gait. A nice. A nice weightlifting program to keep you solid. I right? bought a you gym. I know it doesn't do much though, does it? You <laughs> it doesn't. It's in wanna, the barn. It's covered in raccoon shit. You don't want to get your stomach stapled. You don't want to do any weird radical shit. You want to just slowly over time become solid like a hunk I'm of beef. I'm stronger than you. You're not stronger than me. I'm 100%. You're not. I can be you an arm wrestle. You cannot. 100%. I will smoke. Listen, in any in any sport, I'm better than you. That you you'll die. We any could, sport? You want to go to you want to go wrestle? You want to race? Yeah, I'll race you. You want to do a foot race? I'll fucking race you. I would, I'm faster than you. You're not 100% <laughs> One hundred percent. Your legs are longer, but I'm way faster. It's literally, it's literally like a like a bulldog versus a Porsche. No, it's not possible. You're not faster. You're a than Porsche. Me. In this fucking race, I am. Just because you're German, because your dad's German. Oh no! See, now you're getting, you're getting. Let's talk about this race. What? Because I'll fucking smoke you. What race? I'll smoke you. The There's foot race. The race. I'll do a race. The foot race. We'll go outside. We'll take the cameras outside. We'll do a foot race. I won't even change. You're do gonna you have insurance. I have insurance. Because you might die. I won't die. You might die. I have the best insurance in the If you die, this the whole bottom falls out of this podcast. I lose my This dream. pilot would be the biggest pilot in the history. If I die, this would be the greatest if you had a heart podcast. Attack? And you didn't even sign the contract yet, so it's well, perfect. I haven't even fucking I haven't even seen see, the paperwork. You haven't even seen the paperwork. My paperwork, the paperwork is solid. You gotta get a lawyer. I got a lawyer. I'm waiting for the paperwork. My paperwork's great. I already talked to Alex, we got an inside deal. <laughs> He's I get paid first. Makes sense. 
Okay, so yeah, let's not do the foot race because I want you to live. I'll do the foot. I drank a juice today. That'll do it. This juice is good. I know. I know how you're gonna. I know how you are. If we really got down to doing the foot race, you're like, well, you know, I don't have the right jeans. I don't have the right. Bro, Fucking I'll Omar, what race. the fuck do you want? Hold on. Are you gonna kill your hey, dog? Hey, hey. Don't kill your dog. Look, he's gonna hit it. I'm... He gets mad, eh? When the door's closed, she he keeps, hits her. She keeps he hits barking her. at me. You hate your dog? Did you something. see the anger? I love my it's dog. It's just barking. Omar, it's nice. It's not I'm even mad. Here. Why are you so I'm mad working. at your dog? Come here, mama. Why are you so mad at your Come dog? Here. Why are you going to hit it on camera? She's hiding from me like I do hit her. I know. I beat she her. Knows. I beat her. See? I beat her. I put just talk about me. it. It's fine. As long as you talk about it out loud, it's fine. She's too small to hit. Thanks, George. Yeah, thanks, George. Here we go. See, look, she's like, don't hit me. Don't hit me, daddy. Please, too tall. Daddy hits me. Daddy hits me. Omar does. Oh, she got bad see, she she's knows. Getting old. She's an old lady. Omar's so she's cute. She's officially old. We love Omar. We do love her. All jokes aside, guys. All jokes aside. No dogs were hurt during the set. No, I never hit Omar. Come Alex on. fucks his dog. You know what's <laughs> fucked up? <laughs> Is that this could be something that would turn into someone getting in trouble. What do you mean? Like you, you joking about me hitting the dog and I say, yeah, I hit the dog. And all of a sudden it's like we're in trouble with something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're going to both get sued. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, my like career's Peter. over. I talked Peter. about eating cum and jerking off on iguanas. Uh, what else did we talk? We talked. The Iguana, the Iguana Foundation is going to come after the you. The Iguana Foundation is going to come at me for fucking. I, I just came on the wall I did, and I let it out of the cage. And if it happened to have cleaned up the cum, then that's the Iguana's MO. I, uh, the first I'm time. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I, anyone can get busted for it. Like, I said, we're, we're joking around. There's going to be an exclaimer. A disclaimer? An exclaimer. There's yeah. going to be a disclaimer. All of these jokes are jokes, and nothing I said is even real. So it doesn't even matter Should because podcasts it, are full of shit. I'm full of shit. You're definitely full of shit because you're fucking like at least 56 years old. I don't I don't appreciate it at all. I don't think I don't think that's something you should attack. And I'm <laughs> it's actually in your best interest that I don't appear to be 56 years old. Because our fan base is young, streetwear. So Alex Owens, tell us about uh streetwear. Uh, I'm a big time streetwear <laughs> magnet. You might have heard of me. I'm in these motherfucking streets. I make the wear. Um Mm. You know, that's it. I have a company. Do you well. believe that streetwear is dead? I don't give a shit. I'm going to ask some real questions. People want to know. know. We're doing a streetwear street podcast. Wear- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, good thing we can edit, eh? Do you have anything left to say? Should we turn it back on and do an out? It's already on. Uh, were the, were the cameras live too? Just, just yeah, something about Noah. Noah, 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 Noah. It, yeah, yeah. Hey, let me ask you a question, George. Yeah. Is it at all interesting... <laughs> Let me, <laughs> let me, no, no, no. Let me ask you something. Is, is, is the, is the, is the beast, is the, is the, um, what <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I'm smoked. I haven't slept right in a fucking week. Is, um, is the, is the, is, is, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. With, Spit it out. With the camera and the mics are off. The chatter that <laughs> the chatter that happens is that yeah. interesting at all? Cause does that ever play? I always love that. I love that it's shit. Like, uh, like, it's like you're in the room, like it's like yeah. That, I always love like that moment when the mics are like the show is over. Yeah. But it still is going. Still yeah, is still we never turn great. on, turn off. It's like we never turn it on, we never. But turn like it when off. the mic, when as the soon mic as we goes walk away, in, it's, still catching. it's like on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, dude, everyone likes that. That's a podcast. That's how everyone does a podcast. Oh, shut the it's fuck up. You never done a podcast. You never heard a podcast. I have made over sixty times. You never seen a movie a nice series you just walk around and yell at fucking oh the at fucking moose. god moose shut I'm up moose. i'm gonna get in a pile of mud eat a burger <laughs> you can't make fun of me the only reason you're here is because of my success me yelling and using the voice it was my idea i didn't know we were still rolling this is the f- yeah yeah the iguana unfortunately the iguana didn't show up so welcome to powerful truth angels where the iguanas don't fucking show up where we fucking lie right out the gate there's an iguana coming no there's no iguana coming. I never got fucked in my ass. That happened. Your ass got fucked. That Did little it? that little fucking puckered starfish Did got it? bent in. Did my ass get fucked? Those spokes got broken. DM my tr- wife. My wife. The iguana. I want the iguana. I want to Where's see the, the iguana. iguana. I, I want the iguana. iguana. If this podcast can't get an iguana on the show, who the fuck can we? We can't even get an iguana. We can't even get a fucking iguana. We Why can't even we get, get a tablecloth. We can't get a painting. I got to get the sign put in the Uber that showed the camera like a fucking Nimrod. What a mess. Listen. Welcome to Cash App. I'm Maddie Matheson. This is Powerful Truth Angels. Good night. I'm Marty Martheson. This is Powerful Booth Angels. Blah, 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 blah. blah, blah, blah Don't blah, make fun blah. of my... That's my that's my my sentence. I'm Marty Martinson. I'm here to tell you, I'm on Quaaludes.
Not on Quaaludes. Not on the Igu- you don't have to talk to the iguana. The iguana's not fucking coming, so it doesn't fucking matter. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck this fucking podcast. Pokeroo. Fuck your iguana. Thank you, Kismet Rotisserie. Thank you to Thank the you, Sarahs. Kismet. We had a cookie. The cookie was a delicious. All the roasted chicken in the world is so the best. Los Feliz is a better place. Thank you very much. Good night. This is a food podcast about not, food. It's not nighttime. And it was brought to you by Rotisserie Chicken. It's thank you. It's not a food podcast. This is it's a food co- podcast. My co-host, I'd like to thank my co-host, uh, Alex, two-tone graffiti writer, uh, Erdman. We're equals. My, you're my co-host. We're equals. Well, I'm, I'm the host and you're my co-host. We're equals. Eh, you and Omar are equals. <laughs> you're a half dead dog. I want people my my You're half dead dog my, and you. My purpose of this podcast is to truly expose to people what a wretched piece of shit you are. You that's un- I can't be. You will be. I am by the time I'm done, I'll I slowly, am the nicest, I'll most slowly, humble person I'll slowly in the chip away at the facade. I'm of the Maddie happiest, Matheson. most positive, most loved. I love me and I love you. And today on Powerful Truth Angels, we're gonna learn about self-love. This is the end of the show, asshole, not the beginning. The show's over. The show's fucking over. The show is over. Over, over. The podcast sucks. Just <laughs> suck it up. D- Fill your mouth full of the stupid fucking juice from this show. We're never making it again. You're a fucking maniac. I'm Alex Erdman. I'm Marty Martheson, and I'm here to tell you, eat some bison. A little booyah base. I'm going to go spray a Some bunch gravy. of paint on a wall and put my name everywhere. BB baby K's and all the bop bop bops. <laughs> BB bops. Number three, a little halo on top and a little goop goop goop. A little doodly do. Doodly do. Two tone. Sick. All right. Good night. We're Powerful Truth Angels. Why do you keep saying good night? Okay. It's a late night show. Goodbye. It's going to air probably in the mornings. How about it just cuts off?